starts in the open guard here. And then my partner is gonna be on the base on top. I will set up my umbrella grip from his sleeve. Okay. I will control his bite with my foot and his leg is off. I can use my hook behind the knee to control the distance between you, hand and knee. So what I want from you guys now, you got as soon as you step on his bite and control his knee, you're gonna break the grip and step on the mat. Okay? As soon as you step on the mat, you pull him towards you, and now you're gonna string and trap his foot with your arm. So you trap his leg. Now you can let it go that, that hand and control his leg here. Your hook goes under the hip, your knees pinch together, step on his, step on his hip. Make sure, here. Make sure your leg won't cross all the way in, okay? Because this is illegal for my BJF. And make sure to never pass the line of the hip here. Keep your toes out, pinch your knees together. My hip is not touching the mat, so don't don't be flat on the mat like this. I always lift your hip above your, his knee, pinch your knees together. Now that I have the control of the sleeve and the leg, I will set up my umbrella grip on his foot, okay, and I will strap him that way. I'll pull his his the sleeve down and stretch his leg at the same time. So I push him away from me, pulling his sleeve down. Up. It feels really good. So now he's gonna post his hand on the mat. And uh, this hook from the top goes to the bottom. Okay. My elbow goes underneath his foot. So I can push him with my legs and stand up with the, on the tech foot. What I like to do here, every time that you sweep, what I like to do is this. I have this knee and then I have the, the foot, the umbrella grip. So he gonna, you see his hip? He's gonna try to recover the hip, he's gonna turn to me. But the moment that he turns his hip, I will connect my foot on the tap. At the same time, I use his hand to block his side. And now, I dive for the side control. Okay, one more time. I will connect my umbrella grips, step on his bike, control his leg. I just wanna have the right distance, I will step in between his leg and pull him to me. So I'm hugging his leg, tap on the hip. My hook goes underneath his hip and pinch your knees together. You can let it go, switch the, the umbrella to the tent. Now, you will put your both hooks on the hip, pushing away, pulling his head down till he pulls his hand on the mat. Now my elbow goes under the foot, lift and push him away. Now, see, he's gonna switch and now pass. If you can connect with the pass, it's fine. Just stay there, get the point, and adjust yourself, control the legs. Okay? So guys, after you connect your your uh, spider here, you're gonna make sure to break the grip, step on between his legs, pull him to you. Now, let's talk about the reactions here, okay? Every time that I wanna trap his leg, I will make sure to trap underneath my arm and lift my hip to step on his hip and trap his leg. Okay. Now, if you can't, if you don't have the flexible flexibility enough to put your foot right there uh, under his hip, you can just kick him away and make sure to walk. So now, don't let him control your leg, break the grip. You can let it go this arm and go for the umbrella grip of the tent. Okay. Now, if you try to move my foot out of his hip, you switch to under the hip. Now you're gonna kick him away, break the posture, and force him to put this hand on the mat. Okay. After he puts his hand on the mat, you can move your elbow under his foot. Kick away and stand up at the same time. Now he's gonna move his hip to me. I will do the Toriano pass. Once he do the Toriano pass, I will dive to the pass and he will turn back to me. After he move his hip, I will do the Toriano pass, he will turn his back to me. Now if he give me this space hand under his belly, I will put my bottom hook first and then the hook on top. If he's flat on the mat, he's not, let me put my bottom hook in. I will make sure to open, uh, connect my shin behind his shoulder, step over his belly, and now I will sit down and bring him to my other shoulder, not to my back, okay? So connect your top, your hook on top. So guys, so make sure to fall to your shoulder, not to your back. If you fall to your back, you're gonna be really weird and give him the reaction that he needs to escape. So keep making 
make sure to hug and fold to your shoulder. You're gonna end up on this position right here. Okay.